Number five, indicate the most important types of intermolecular attractions in each of the following solutions. And then we have letter B. So what's the most important type of intermolecular attraction between NO liquid and CO liquid? Okay. So the first thing is, is to just identify what type of compounds these are. Now, NO and CO, if we look on the periodic table, these are all nonmetals, so these are both covalent molecules. So with covalent molecules, the easiest way to go about this is to quickly draw the Lewis structure. I know it's one extra step, but it's very easy to see what's going on if you actually can look at the structure. Now, I'm going to draw the structure on the screen for you guys. You can pause the video if you want to, to see if your um, Lewis structure matches mine. We have tons of videos on the channel that have to do with Lewis structures, so just check those out. Um, and yeah, so let's go for it. So for NO, I have a nitrogen and an oxygen. Um, let's see, we have one, two, three... Four, five, one, two, three. I guess we'll go, we'll do the double bond. And then this will have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. And then one, two, three, four, five. So this is not a uh, perfect octet, right? Because the nitrogen only has seven electrons, but that's okay. They didn't give us a charge here. So we just have to go with it. And then CO would be a, let's see, this one also is not going to be a octet. This one will have a triple bond. And maybe this one will have, I think, one, because it's four plus six. Four plus six is, what's four plus six? Ten? Two, four, six, eight, ten. So this one, we can actually get the octet on them. Okay. So there we go. Whoop. Now... You just have to determine what type of molecule this is, whether it's polar or nonpolar. And remember, SNAP. The N and the P stand for nonpolar and polar. And remember, the S and the N go together, and the A and the P go together. The S stands for symmetrical. And the A stands for asymmetrical. So maybe I'll just put asym. So if I draw this right down the middle, are these two elements the same? No. So these would be classified as polar. Same thing with the CO, right? I draw this right down the middle. I have carbon on one side, oxygen on the other. That's polar. And now we just have to link out the intermolecular forces that these have. Now remember, all covalent molecules have dispersion forces, no matter what, and those are your weakest forces. So always write out your forces by doing your weakest to your the strongest. Now the next force is the dipole-dipole force, or the dipole-dipole interaction. And remember, dipole-dipole interactions are only for polar molecules. So since we already said that these are polar, these have dipole-dipole. So dipole-dipole force and dipole-dipole force. And the last one is hydrogen bonding. Remember, hydrogen bonding, you have to have an OH or an HO, an HN or an HF bond. But I have no hydrogens here, so I can't have any hydrogen bonding. Now, in order to find out the most important type you will always pick the most attraction. And that's why you always like to list them from you know, least force to the most force, because you just pick the one that they have in common the most, right? Or the highest one. So in this case, they both have dipole-dipole forces. So that's the one that wins, because that one is a uh, more stronger force or attraction than dispersion. So... The most important type of force here would be dipole-dipole force, or you could say dipole-dipole attraction. It doesn't matter to me. And that is the end. Let's just box this off. Beautiful. And call it video. Okay. What'd you think? 
I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.